Hello friends, welcome back to Angela's Aging Essentials. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Angela. I am going to be sharing, after I itch my eye, my eyeballs itching, a eye cream with you guys tonight that I mentioned in my last PM skincare video. If you have not watched that, I will add it up here for you. I didn't really do a deep dive told you in that video that I was going to do a deep dive into the ingredients in this product. So let's jump into it. You know, an eye cream or to not eye cream is kind of like an AM cleanse, to cleanse or not to cleanse. Really quickly, the reason why I use an eye cream is because I am 42 years old. I have oily skin, sometimes dry depending on the weather, but the skin underneath my eyes is my trouble area. You know, the skin there is very thin, it gets crepey, you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. It's a very hard area to treat. It's kind of like the skin on your neck. It's a little bit more sensitive than the other skin on your face. So you really do have to be careful when you are treating the orbital rim, which is this circle around your eyeball socket. One of the things that I always look for in an eye cream is an eye cream that is not going to burn my eyeballs out. I don't want to use an eye cream that causes any type of irritation, redness, burning, itching to my eyeballs. Nobody does. So when I test an eye cream out, that is one of the things I always make sure to do is obviously not stick the product directly in my eyeball, but I do go underneath my eyes. I do go on my upper eyelid underneath my eyebrow and I also go on the lower part of my lid. So I just make this full circle right here. And it's important for me that I don't have any type of eye irritation. So I always test out products before I do reviews on them for you guys to let you know how I'm how my skin's reacting and what I think blah 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 blah. And I have been using this for several weeks and the time has come. So what is the product? The product is by the brand Neostrata. Now this is made in the USA. So this is a USA based company. It's actually made in Princeton, New Jersey. This is 0.5 ounces, which you don't really think about being a lot of product, but a little bit of this goes a very long way as to be expected with an eye cream. It takes such a little amount of eye cream. Really quickly, if you are somebody who don't want four or five steps, there's a ladybug flying around if y'all just seen her. Finally, I think she has landed somewhere. But if you're somebody who wants just a very basic routine, then let me encourage you, after you have used your moisturizer, say you don't use a eye cream, you have used your moisturizer, take just a little bit extra of that moisturizer and really focus on just your eye area. And just give that area a little bit of love and do that for a week or two and then come back and let me know if you have noticed a difference in the skin. When your skin is hydrated and moisturized, your skin looks so much better. You could do nothing, I say this all the time, other than use a toner for hydration and a moisturizer to moisturize your skin. And just those two products alone, you would see a huge difference. You'd see a huge difference. So try that and then come back and let me know what you think. Going back to this, you get 0.5 ounces of this and this is $54. Now that does seem like a pretty hefty price tag for a eye cream. I have a favorite eye cream that I have shared with you guys before but I'm gonna try to stay focused and stay on topic because I just get stupid giddy about products. And this is one of those products that has really, really excited me. Really quickly, I'll let you guys know, they did a clinical study. Now, I don't really know about clinical studies because I'm not a corporate company. I'm not a company at all. But I do know that they have to pay a lot of money out of pocket for these clinical trials, these clinical testings that they do, they have to pay a lot of money out of pocket to do these. They pick people, you know, at random, you can sign up however it works, and they do kind of like a placebo effect. So they'll give, say, 10 people this product, and then they'll give 10 people the placebo product. 
and everybody uses the product and then they kind of come back and over a six week span, they kind of compare their results. And over the six weeks for the people that were not given the placebo product, 94% of those people saw less fine lines and wrinkles. Their fine lines under their eyes were less noticeable. 91% of those people, their eyes appeared more lifted. Now, you can find all of this information on this website. That is where I got the information. So I encourage you to do your own research. Don't just take what I tell you as being accurate. Do your own research. But I thought that that was a pretty impressive clinical trial, trial results, especially being 94% and 91% in a six week trial. I read all that information before I purchased this product. Fast forward to three weeks later, here we are. This is called their Correct. This is the Comprehensive Retinol Eye Cream. This is going to have that retinol in it, hyaluronic acid, peptides, and it also has an AHA, an alpha hydroxy acid, a very beautiful combination of some really effective, very powerful ingredients. What caught my eye about this the most was that it specifically says on there that it is formulated for dark circles and wrinkles. A lot of eye creams don't make the claim that they can help treat dark circles. They mostly make the claim that they can lift and tighten, you know, and help with the sagging and the bagging and all that stuff. But a lot of companies don't make the claim to help with dark circles because dark circles can sometimes be hereditary. More times than not, they are hereditary. They can be extremely hard to treat, very similar, in my opinion, to melasma. It's just almost impossible to fully treat them so you just work with what you got and you try to make it look better. So I thought that that 94% and 91% results from their clinical trial backing up the dark circles that the patients saw a result in was also really, really impressive. This is fragrance, tr fragrance free and this is also um, ophthalmologist tested. So if you wear contacts, then this is going to be suitable for you, which I also thought was very, very important. This is also formulated, designed, and everything by a dermatologist, which in my opinion really goes a long way because although all of us can get on here and share our skincare journeys, I'm not a dermatologist or an esthetician. I have done tons and tons of research, but I still have no degree or no license to, to be able to talk about it. I just like to ramble on about it and share my journey with you guys because I have transformed my skin over the past four years. I'm getting sidetracked. So the fact that this was, you know, founded by a dermatologist, I also thought was super, super intriguing. It also claims that this is going to help even your skin tone and refine your skin's texture. Now, for me, right here, you can see it on camera. It kind of looks like a shadow, but that is actually hyperpigmentation. So that is from the sun, um, where melasma is more focused on my forehead. If you're like, what is she talking about? I'll add a video where I talk about hyperpigmentation and melasma. In a nutshell, it's pigmentation on your skin that causes dark spots. So the fact that it says that this helps to even out your skin tone because it has, of course, that retinol and that alpha hydroxy acid, that are, that's the two ingredients that are going to be responsible for helping treat your pigmentation. I thought sounded also amazing because I do have that. When I wear makeup, eyeshadow, I, can, I hide that. But if I'm just trying to live my best life and go all natural, you know, if I could get this to go away, I would be tickled pink. So what do I think about this? So I've only been using this for three weeks and honestly, you know, just as well as I do, that that's a little bit too early to be able to say if this product has completely transformed my under eye area. I will continue to use this. With this having that retinol in it, this is only going to be suitable and recommended for you to use at PM, which worked out really nicely. Another reason why I purchased this because I have an empties coming up for you guys, but I had used up my PM eye cream and 
got sold on this one. So here we are three weeks later, and I think it's too early to really tell a difference. I will say that my under eyes definitely feel hydrated. And when I wake up in the mornings, I think it's probably the retinol that's in here, but my skin under my eyes just feels really, really smooth. I like the low percentage of retinol that is in here because it doesn't cause any peeling or flaking under the sensitive, sensitive under eye area. So let me show you guys what this looks like. You just take, I mean, I'm not even barely pushing, barely pushing on this. And I just get a little dollop out. It's such a teeny tiny little amount. It's not much at all. It's the mixture between like a gel, a gel and a serum. Like if a gel and a serum had a baby, then that's what I feel like this would be. And I just pat that underneath my eyes. I pull it out here by my crow's feet, tap, 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 all over the eye. Come up under my eyebrow. It melts into the skin really fast. It does leave the under eye with that very silky, very smooth feel. It does not have any type of fragrance, not that I can smell. And it does say on there that it is fragrance free. Very, very nice consistency. It has a 12 month shelf life. We will see how long that this lasts, but I really think that this is going to last me probably knowing me and knowing how I go through eye creams. I'm going to say this being 0.5 ounce using this every night or every other night. I'm going to say that this is probably going to last me five to six months. I will of course document all that and let you guys know if it lasted me longer than that or if it did not last that long. You will probably see this in several more of my PM skincare routines because it is a product that I am absolutely enjoying. If you have tried this, please leave me a comment and let me know. If you are looking for a good eye cream to really help your dark circles, go and do some research on this and see if you think that this could be beneficial for helping you with your dark circles. I think I said dark spots. I meant dark circles because I do really like how this is formulated for that. And like I said, a lot of eye creams don't mention that or make claims to help with your dark circles just because sometimes they are hereditary and they can be impossible to treat. So, you know, if you're going to make a claim like that and you're going to be able to stand behind it with your clinical trials that you have done, that's exactly what this product has done. So thank you guys again for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed rest of your week. That is an absolute tongue twister. A wonderfully blessed rest of your week. Try to say that three times fast. New Year's is right around the corner. What are you guys doing? Are you doing anything? We are not doing nothing. We will be at home in my bed where it's nice and warm, probably with some Netflix going or a movie. The one movie this year that I watch every single Christmas that I did not get to see is Christmas with the Cranks. I actually own the DVD, so at some point I'm going to pop that in and watch it because it's a Christmas tradition and we just stayed so busy, we did not have time to do it. So if you're wondering what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be piled up in my bed with a nice cup of coffee or hot chocolate watching Netflix or Christmas with the Cranks. Have a beautiful, happy new year, you guys, and we will see you in the next video.